Man is, by nature, a restless being. So when he first took to the skies, it was only a matter of time before he would cast his gaze upwards and ask, what lies out there and how can we reach it? Our quest into space is little more than two generations old. What drove its success? Daring to dream and daring to fail. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Alas, he was not there to see it. But John F. Kennedy's rallying cry was answered that July day in 1969. But if the 60s and 70s proved we could enter space, the shuttle program showed we could conquer it. By the time STS-51G stood on the launch pad, the thunder of a shuttle in the Florida sky was a fixture of Cape Canaveral life. Yet the roar of this launch of the shuttle Discovery would also resonate around the world. Now, for the first time, Arab nations had a physical and emotional stake in a space mission. Led by Commander Daniel Brandenstein and mission specialists John Creighton, John Fabian, Stephen Nagel, and Shannon Lucid, the crew also included two payload specialists, Patrick Baudry of France and Prince Sultan bin Salman of Saudi Arabia. Like the rest of the group, they had passed through the grueling training required by NASA, and their inclusion would make this the most international mission to date. Many scientific and technical tasks lay ahead, including the launch of ArabSat-1B, a satellite that would bring mass communications across the Middle East. At that time, space travel symbolized the talent and spirit of the countries that pioneered it, and now the Arab world could share in the same glow of achievement. The first Arab and the first Muslim was venturing into space. When I went up, I went and represented 800 million people, 800 million Muslims, and I actually took all of them with me to space. You have uh, generations of young people in Saudi Arabia who are very proud of what happened. Children, gripped by the mission, were inspired to be living in a new space nation. STS-51G became a catalyst for new universities and centers of excellence across the country. Its scientists, key contributors to the mission, would forge links with the leading research labs of the world. And as a direct result of the mission, Saudi Arabia immediately launched its own space program. Indeed, this year the kingdom also celebrates 30 notable years of designing and manufacturing satellites. Booster ignition. The fleet of five shuttles would, between them, fly a total of 135 missions. The program was the very essence of exploration, embracing courage and daring, ingenuity and creativity. Up in space, the shuttle's legacy burns bright. It paved the way for the International Space Station. And today, our ceaseless desire to explore continues to reach new heights. STS-51G was a vital link in this extraordinary chain. Departing the Earth on June 17, 1985, it traveled nearly three million miles and launched three satellites. It arrived safely home seven days later and some 52,000 pounds lighter. The mission was a coming together of skills, countries, and cultures for the benefit of the world beneath it. Looking down on Earth, Prince Sultan soon began to see not what separates us, but what joins us. He later wrote, The first day or so, we all pointed to our own countries. The third or fourth day, we all pointed to our continents. By the fifth day, we were only aware of one planet. The mission sparked in the Arab world a passion for space and for science that would grow with each passing year. And perhaps above all, in a world of borders and conflicts, it showed that when man works together, anything is possible. <laughs>